It began in June with a call to the hotline set up by the special task force investigating the murders. Police say a caller told them that Larry Eiler was a violent man capable of murder. Based on that tip, detectives did investigate Eiler and obtained a search warrant to confiscate Eiler's pickup truck and other evidence. Yesterday, as Eiler left a hearing on a civil rights suit he filed, he was served with another warrant. This time, he was seized for hair and blood samples, and after those samples were compared with evidence at the FBI lab in Washington, Eiler was arrested for murder and held in lieu of $1 million bond. Today, his attorney, friends, and family went to court to get that bond reduced. During the proceedings, the prosecutor presented hearsay testimony in which the victims of two separate knife attacks in 1978 and 1982 identified Eiler as their attacker. Eiler's attorney presented evidence to the contrary, but despite his pleas, the judge decided Bond would remain at $1 million, and Eiler remains in police custody. There's absolutely no, no way that he's ever committed a murder. I'm very upset, but I believe in him. Larry contends that he is totally and completely innocent, and the charges are, are totally false. He maintains that he was not involved in this particular killing. He was not around here on the 31st. He has no relationship to it, and that he's being railroaded. The body of Eiler's alleged victim was found in a shallow grave in this field in Lake County, Illinois. Like the victims in a string of murders from central Indiana to northern Illinois, 28-year-old Ralph Calise was stabbed repeatedly and found with his pants around his ankles. There is a strong possibility the investigation may total 19 or more victims. In the opinion of the investigative authorities, 13 of the victims were directly connected with homosexual activities. This type of sordid crime can be compared with the sadistic gratification that John Wayne Gacy must have enjoyed in his vicious crimes, which I believe are unsurpassed in the annals of recorded sexual murders and degradation. Eiler was considered a suspect in the murder of two Indianapolis men, 21-year-old John Roach and 22-year-old Daniel McNeevy. Police say he's also a suspect in the death of a third central Indiana man, Steve Agan of Terre Haute. It would take, um, I would say, at least several months to uh, determine at what point, if uh, that point ever develops, that he would be charged with any cases uh, in Indiana. Um, however, uh, with this particular case up here, uh, we're optimistic.